In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. I welcome you, uh, all those who are gathered on our Lord's virtual pilgrimage for this Mass of Healing. Uh, welcome to St Giles Catholic Church here up in the east coast of Fife, within the parish of St Agatha's. Uh, I offer up this Mass uh, on behalf uh, and for the repose of the soul of Monsignor Tony Duffy, the man who gave such great service uh, to the Lord's pilgrimage on behalf of the Archdiocese. And we begin our Mass by calling to mind our sins and asking for God's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Saviour, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We will now hear the word of God. Proclaimed. A first reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. I want you to be happy, always happy in the Lord. I repeat, what I want is your happiness. Let your tolerance be evident to everyone. The Lord is very near. There is no need to worry, but if there is anything you need, pray for it, asking God for it with prayer and thanksgiving. And that peace of God, which is so much greater than we can understand, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, fill your minds with everything that is true, everything that is noble, everything that is good and pure, everything that we love and honour, and everything that can be thought virtuous or worthy of praise. Keep doing all the things that you learnt from me and have been taught by me and have heard or seen that I do. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Action. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. Truly, I have set my soul in silence and peace. A weaned child on its mother's breast, even so is my soul. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I bequeath to you, my own peace I give you. A peace the world cannot give, this is my gift to you. 
Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and shall return. If you loved me, you would have been glad to know that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe. I shall not talk with you any longer, because the prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me, but the world must be brought to know that I love the Father, and that I am doing exactly what the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I mentioned at the beginning of this virtual Mass that I offer this Mass up for the repose of the soul of Monsignor Tony Duffy, a man who gave a life of service to the Lord's pilgrimage on behalf of the Archdiocese and a life of service as one of his priests within the Archdiocese. After all of his service and endeavour, we pray amidst the conviction that he is now at one with God, that he is now indeed at peace. Peace is the recurring word throughout those readings that we have listened to. It's a recurring theme. And we listen to the message of Christ given in that Last Supper discourse from the Gospel of St John, where amidst the carnage that awaited him, as they gathered in that upper room, one of the key messages, along with the word of service, with the word of love, amidst the message of oneness with the Father and the Spirit, was the key message of peace. Peace he bequeathed upon his disciples. A peace that the world cannot know. It's no coincidence that that is the immediate message prior to to the carnage that awaited Jesus as he went out to face those who persecuted him. But that message of peace and the immediate prelude to the carnage that Jesus experienced is very much a message that's conveyed to all of us as well. We're living in very troubled times, very difficult times in the world just now. This is the second year in a row where we have had to gather for a mass of this nature online. What is it that's going to give us a sense of serenity in our lives, a sense of peace, a sense of healing? It's the true gift of knowing that God is with us in our trials, in our struggles, and in our tribulations. The place where we long to go to at a time of the year such as this is a place that gives us a real sense of calm and serenity amidst the carnage of this world. Any time that we gather in that special place, what we get is the gift of affirmation. We look around us and we see all the other people who are looking for that sense of calmness and serenity that a place like Lourdes can give us. That we should acknowledge that amidst the carnage of this world, such a place gives us that affirmation. Affirmation that the world alone cannot give us. My mind goes back to the last occasion that I was in Lourdes where I was confronted at the grotto with a very young Filipino family who were gathered arm in arm. And it turns out that they were mourning at that time. They were mourning the loss of their mother. But as they gathered around the votive candle stand at Lourdes, it was very much a sense of release of that family because they were experiencing a sense of release and peace that the world simply cannot give them. We look for a sense of peace and longing for fulfilment in our own spiritual lives. A spiritual life that we look to be happy and fulfilled in the way that St Paul uh, urges us to in that first reading that we hear at this Mass of Healing today. So we reflect today and at this time for the gift of peace and serenity in our lives. And we look to the gift of the message of Christ, particularly on an occasion such as the night before he died, that amidst the carnage that he was about to experience, his main message was peace and serenity to those around him. And at this virtual pilgrimage mass of healing, we offer up our own prayers of intercession today. 
My own peace I give you, a peace that the world cannot give. Through Christ we have become children of God and heirs to the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, let us pray to God with confidence at this hour. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Leo and all priests, deacons and religious of the Archdiocese, that they may lead us worthily and well. Lord, hear us. For charity towards those whom we encounter, that we may be concerned for those in our communities who need our prayers, our time and our generosity. Lord, hear us. For all those who endure suffering in their lives, and for their families, that they may encounter their pain with patience and fortitude. Lord, hear us. For those in the midst of a time of trial, that they encounter God's healing presence. Lord, hear us. For those gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. In particular, we pray for the repose of the soul of Monsignor Tony Duffy, for whom this Mass is being offered, that all the dead may see God as he truly is. Lord, hear us. And we ask for the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Queen of Heaven, for a swift end to the pandemic. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy health or suffered thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before thee I stand sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Lord, give us the certainty that there is a life where broken things are mended and lost things are found, where there is rest for the weary and joy for the sad, where all that we have loved and willed of good exists. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbour. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world of eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. Their voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leo, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Monsignor Tony, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternity. Say the word. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.